Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to mix D Kodak, specifically Kodak D76, from the powder. This is the current iteration as of 2023 of D76, so um, they sell it in this powder package. There's very clear instructions on the package on how to mix the powder into what's called stock solution. The package that I'm going to mix up needs water, which is in a specific temperature range. It's on the package telling you exactly what temperature to get your water to. And then you put three liters of that into a gallon jug. I'm using a gallon jug that I used for distilled water. Start with distilled water from mixing chemistry and use a specific set of equipment like a funnel and so forth for that same chemistry if you want to make sure you have the best quality. So I start with the distilled water, heat it up to temp, and pour it back into the jug it came from. With the distilled water, because it's not ever going to touch chemistry, I'll just use one of my standard kitchen pots. Then I'll grab a separate filter, which doesn't have a uh, funnel, rather, which doesn't have a filter in it. I'll cut a notch into the bag of the D76, and then I'll pour the powder in steadily. It's also a good idea, just in case, to wipe out the inside of the uh, the powder funnel, just to make sure that there's no residual contamination from any other chemistries or things like that which have potentially been used in that funnel. So that'll help ensure your chemical quality. Next, once you have your packet of D76 open, you're just going to pour it in a steady pace from just slightly above the funnel. I'm holding it higher than I normally do so you can see the powder pour but here's what it looks like. You want to try to minimize the amount of dust that comes out of this packet as you pour it, because you really don't want to inhale that dust. It's, I don't know what all is in it, but it definitely doesn't feel good in your nose when the dust gets in there. So after the powder now has worked its way into the funnel and is fully into the uh, rest of the water, Kodak says to take the rest of your warmed up water that you started with and then top off the jug to a full gallon, which I'm going to do here shortly. And I'm going to use this funnel still for that and run the water through it so that any residual powder that's in that funnel will be uh, dissolved by the water. And then I'll have a proper mix. You don't want to cut a one gallon bag of D76 into four quarts or something like that because you might get will actually will probably get uneven mixtures of chemicals in each quart, which will impair the developer's ability to function. So after it's in the jug, because I don't have a stirrer that can fit inside of it and really like mix it around, I'm just going to turn it upside down, shake it around, and repeat that until the jug doesn't make any sound. It doesn't sound like a maraca anymore. And what's going to happen is that's going to help dissolve all of the crystals for the D76 developer into this jug. And when the jug has, or when the water rather, has finished developing all of the crystals, then you want to set this aside. This needs to be made up a day beforehand because if you don't make it up a day beforehand, it's going to be too warm to develop. You need to let it sit and room temperature stabilize at least overnight, preferably for 24 hours, just to make sure that all of the crystal pow uh, developer powder has clarified and then it's all perfect, uh, well dissolved. This then is now the stock solution. So if you'd use D76 stock, this is what you use. If you want to use D76 one plus one, you use one part of stock and one part of distilled water, say 10 ounces and 10 ounces. One plus three would be one part stock, three parts water, say 10 ounces and 30 ounces. And that's how you make a single use working solution from D76 stock.